Hello, hello, and welcome to uh, a frazzled and late Unon Jr. Uh, on the Coffee Craft server and stuff. Uh, sorry. I, I was having some really weird issues with XSplit for a minute there, where it kept giving me weird issues about USB controller resources being exceeded and uh, a bunch of other stuff like that. Uh, and, and that is not the, le the least of the issues. I was trying to take a screenshot of something for x Frog, and uh, instead of getting a screenshot of the screen I was on, I was getting a screenshot of other stuff. Because, of course. So, I'll have to work on that later. Uh... Sorry, Medic. Uh, try again, but I, I, I suspect something was entered in the wrong place. Um, although it doesn't look like you're on at the moment anyway, so r r remind me, and, and we'll we'll go through that. All right. Uh, frazzled me this. I left myself AFK while I tried to hurry up and get other stuff together in the hopes that I could start getting some kelp to smelt. And, huh, all right, a stack and a little bit extra in just a half hour. So, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that a little bit later. Uh, we also got a stack and a bit uh, from this guy here. Ooh. And, all right, there we go. All right. Let's put that stuff away. There's nothing to harvest there. I really do need to stock up on the emeralds by trading with those guys, but, uh... Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. I... Wow. I am so sorry. I didn't realize they were doing that. I, I mean, come on, guys. I, I know it's Amazon and Christmas, but... <laughs> come on. Or serious. Now, I just wish Shreyest was on here to hear me saying for serious. Ask her about that when she's on. Alright. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Because this... I mean, yes, I got four sand. That's a sandstone in the half hour it took to, to go take care of stuff before going live. Um, going to have to work on that. Uh, I, I think I might need to work on my emerald problem a little bit sooner, too. How much How much food do I have? Oh, no. Okay, good. I, I got a stack in a bit, so... Uh, there we go. I'll be okay for a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, not... not too much longer, but a little bit longer. Um, oh, before before I go any further, where is my there? That uh, all right? Now that we've got the these two together. Uh, if you if you're watching the guitar thing on Friday, I mentioned that I was missing one item for my order. I had ordered four of these. Uh, hello, light. Uh, all parts CTS pots. Uh, potentiometers, usually just abbreviated pots, and one, even though the invoice said four, one was missing. Uh, they they sent a replacement that was supposed to arrive by Friday. I was given a tracking number that was completely and utterly useless, and I meant to call them today to complain, and I'm kind of glad I didn't, because sitting amongst a bunch of other deliveries was number four. Which is funny, because I was so anxious about not having that one, that I uh, that I uh, I went ahead and ordered another set, so I'm gonna have some extra uh, some extra guitar parts. <laughs> because of course I am. Uh oh, hang on, something is not playing nice. Oh no, there we go. All right, everything caught back up. For some reason. All right. Um, also, I had intended to work on this puzzle project over the weekend. 
and I dutifully went to scout out a good location and found out that I have no power outlets anywhere that I could possibly want to use one unless I'm willing to run a stupidly long extension cord from inside the apartment through the door to the porch, over the porch, etc., etc. And since it was raining Saturday, that was not really an option. Uh, so, uh, this weekend I'll probably work on that as a hand tool only thing, and it's just going to end up, uh, slightly more rustic than I'd intended. If you can't make it perfect, make it look intentional. <laughs> Speaking of which, if you're, if you're watching that and you notice that I had some camera problems during the guitar live stream, I just came in today my two USB extension cables they should be they should be long enough to to run each camera to its own USB port instead of to the hub and I I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to reconfigure um all the things because this computer is a little shy of USB ports I I well Okay, it's shy computer ports that the number of uh, USB ports that I would prefer, but that's a separate thing entirely. Uh, <laughs> so we, we we got so I I'm going to I'm I need to finish that red guitar that I was working on before Friday. So tomorrow or Thursday, I may do another test. It just depends on when I can get the cables and all that squared away. Um, because I've got one other project, and I am rapidly, rapidly running out of December. Ah! <laughs> okay. I'll stop before I start crying. Um, oh, and the, uh, we are no longer on Cube Toast. We are now on Nodecraft. Uh, that is where I am right now in the Dangerous Perilous dark of the night uh hey axonym how's it going uh we we finished the migration from cube toast to nodecraft uh last week sometime and everything does seem to be running pretty well uh i've noticed that the memory is pegged but i also forgot to set up the automated reboot which seemed to solve that problem previously, and I'm not sure if the issue is uh, Java or Minecraft or both or what, but that, that's one of those, you know, it, it is what it is type deals. Um, I had, there's something else I'm forgetting, something else I'm forgetting. Oh, I have partially managed the mitigation for the log4j problem and uh, I will be finishing the rest of that tonight. Uh, if you are running a Minecraft server or any Java anything, go install the update. Uh, the <laughs> this this, this this is a might bit critical here, folks. The the and what makes it bad, like um, security vulnerabilities have a rating where ten is absolutely stupidly dangerous. You must deal with this yesterday. <laughs> um, they try not to give a vulnerability a rating of ten if they can absolutely help it. So, like, there were some serious ones in the last few weeks that were rated, like, 9.8, 9.6. Uh, they, they go to that extent to avoid tagging something as a 10, unless they absolutely have to. Um, this is a 10. Wait, <laughs> so... Keep that in mind when, when, when uh, you, you know, you, you hear people talking about this thing because this, this is a 10. It's, uh, it's that dangerous. So do, do make sure that your, your servers and stuff are updated. All right. 
Uh, so we got the sand, the cacti, the fence post, the next floor? Yeah. Oop, let's, uh, mine the gap. Without falling onto the cacti to death. Uh, so anyway, that <laughs> there's your security scare of the week. You're welcome. Um, again, if you are, and not just, not just Minecraft, because this is a vulnerability in a Java logging program, if you are running any games or applications that use Java, you, uh, and I'm not talking about what just brewed, and I'm about to go, you know, get a, a, uh, a cup of I, I'm <laughs> I'm talking like uh, the the Java programming language and uh, yeah I, if you're using anything that uses that you need to do something yesterday all right so let's try to get the floor down. The nice thing is, is I've got the floor below us as a template to use. All right, now I'm done scaring you. I promise. Uh, yeah. And that hole's going to be there like so. Uh-oh. I hear that sweet ambrosia being forward. Let's uh, not die in a pit of cactus today, please. Mm -hmm. I'm beginning to wonder if I actually have enough sand. Uh, wouldn't that be embarrassing? Bless you, Arcadius. Cheers. By the way, Arcadius, if I could bother you in chat, por favor. Okay, then I won't. <laughs> oh, I, I was I was actually gonna say voice chat because. Uh, I, I think you're you're gonna need to to speak to rage about this one, or not rage. I'm not sure which. Oops, that shouldn't be there. Oh yeah, no, I hear you, Axon. I'm uh, oh, shoot. How many of those am I gonna lose? Did you hear the news, Arcadius? Oh, uh, you are super quiet. Is that my fault or the system? I have no idea at this particular juncture because so many other things have gone sideways. I, I just, I don't, I don't even know. Uh... Did you, uh, did you hear the news about the live action Cowboy Bebop? Oh, what about it? <laughs> it has not been renewed for a season two. They're giving up. They're canceling it. Really? Yep. Oh, that's tough. Um... <laughs> I, I, I love that Lizard Bill said, <laughs> said, I told you all this was Firefly. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> oh, man, come on. Too soon. Too soon. I mean, what, did it not stay on the top of the chart long enough? Um, it, it seems that the, the watch time was more tepid than anybody had expected. 
but I I mean the original anime took a while to get going too if I remember correctly it wasn't like an immediate success no it was a cult classic you yeah so so it first you... came out it wasn't watched very much yeah so you you get you get my confusion where it's like um yeah guys you you didn't you were expecting what the original didn't take off immediately, so why would you expect this remake to take off, you know, immediately? Yeah, I got no answer for you. That's just, <laughs> that's the way it is. So, <laughs> uh, th this is going to join the likes of, <laughs> of Firefly and everything else that was canceled too soon. Maybe. I don't know. Some people are some people are sad. Some people are actually happy that it got canceled because and they, they were so, huh? So they didn't do a great job, but I mean, they told their own story and they did a good job telling their own story. So. Yeah, but I mean, some people were just so violently opposed to to the very idea. That they they just got I don't know that kind of special. Yeah, and, and that's what I've been hearing a lot of people say. Accident was that the the live action was about as good as you're going to get a you know doing a live action version of an anime because there there's stuff that you can do in animation that you just can't do in live action. Even with all the advances in CG, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit. It doesn't feel right. And while I'll agree with you on that, changing the story <laughs> wasn't necessary. Uh... I mean, I'm not, I'm not expecting them to make a frame for frame remake, but the overall temperature of the story, the overall dynamic is completely different in the live action versus the anime. Ah. They they tell two different they s tell the same story but in two completely different ways and in such a way that you lose the overarching message that was supposed to be there. That bad, huh? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I mean, if you sit down, you have a brewski or a drink, and you just watch it to watch it, it's a pretty fun show. It just happens to share the same name and some of the same character names as, as another good show. Well, I mean, <laughs> there, there have been some other ones that, that were kind of like that, where, uh, like, I think of uh, World War Z in particular, where <laughs> the only thing it shared with the original was the name World War Z. <laughs> okay. Or I lose my hat. Uh... That seemed like a really good idea at the time, but I also wasn't expecting to have to uh, expand this. <laughs> Best laid plans of mice and men and all that. Oh, I got one other one that I'm going to have to... Alright, 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 alright. No! Ow! Ow! Is that going to... Oh, good. No. Nothing's over that one. Okay, good. Alright. Uh... Uh... Oh, you're not on the server, are you? 
so I can't beg you to sleep. <laughs> no, it's going to take me a few minutes to get loaded in. Alright, so this guy has got that one now. That guy's got that one. That guy's got that one. That one guy's got that one. And those two have that one there. Okay, so far so good. This is not going to end well. All right, not as bad as <laughs> not as bad as I feared, but uh, yeah, okay. Oh, I kind of wish Beach Duck was on. Ah, uh, she'll be here sooner or later. Yeah. They they open they open the most recent uh, the the most recent uh, cord killers. Yeah, my memory for serious. Like, like how how did I forget the name of the show? Uh, never mind. It's a good question. <laughs> uh, they they open the most recent cord killers with. Uh, a, a story about spoiler culture and, and the various uh, complaints and issues with spoilers. And, uh, yeah. It, it was definitely one... Of the, uh, I found it very amusing that they used as one of their examples... I don't want to do that yet. Uh, they used as one of their examples the Sixth Sense. And I kind of wish Reyes was here right now so I could bust her up over that one a little bit. Because as kids we were trying to get our mother to go watch the Sixth Sense. <laughs> okay. Uh, sand, cactus. That needs to be one lower. All right. Sand, cactus, break. And I had seen it. Rest had seen it. But our mother had not. So I'm trying to explain why Beach Duck should go see this movie without spoiling it. And Reyes was having a moment where she kind of wasn't 100% sure which movie we were talking about. So she blurts out, spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen it. Oh, you mean the one where he's a ghost? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is horrible. Um Yeah. Yeah. So Beach Duck never got a chance to enjoy the sixth sense with uh, <laughs> with with the actual, you know Ah. Stupid holes. Uh, with the actual surprise that's supposed to be there. Oh, this is going to end badly, isn't it? Okay. Please does. <sighs> <laughs> Alright, I feel like I might need more of those. <laughs> Actually, that's what or I need to. I need an. I need an ender pearl farm. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not picking up enough of those. Yeah, poor beach duck. 
And I mean, the, the, <laughs> of course, then, then they started getting, I, I can't remember if it was in the main show or if it was in the after show where they started getting kind of silly about the whole thing too. And, and, you know, so they start blurting out all the spoilery stuff. Like, you mean the one where he, he's his father? Or or the one where, <laughs> you know, like, if there was a spoilery twist somewhere, they found a way to work it into the conversation. And it was glorious. Just absolutely glorious. I think there was a Soylent Green is People one. I think there was... Uh, what else was there? There was that one. There was the Sixth Sense there. Oh. You know, and I'm sitting there thinking that I was going to remember this without having to write it down. I was wrong. <laughs> and anyway, and one of the things that Andrew Main came to, the, the guest for the show, um, was that it's one of the it's one of those weird things where a well written show can survive being spoiled like if you've got the right kind of show and it's well done it actually doesn't his contention was that it actually doesn't matter if it's been spoiled or not because a good show with good writing will still manage I can see that. And yeah, I can I can see that too. Uh just it was one of those things where, you know, you kind of stop and think about it and he's like, "Don't, you know, don't hear what I'm not saying." Being able to enjoy a I forgot a whole row. How did I forget a whole? Never mind. At least I found out before I put all the cactus in. Um, you know, you'll never get a second run of um, of Fight Club where you didn't know the surprise twist. But it still, you know, it still holds up in his mind uh, despite that. And likewise, there there are other movies where where you get the same the same basic idea where or there's uh, I forget I forget which ex which his example was, but you'll get other movies where once you know the twist, and there's not a not a really good reason to 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 watch. Like if if you didn't have that surprise, it just wouldn't be that good a movie. Uh, I, I wish I could remember what example it was that they had come up with now. Uh, so let me ask you guys, uh, what one would you think of in that particular genre of, um, you know, if, if, <laughs> if you knew, if you knew the surprise, then it's not, it's just not worth watching anymore. <laughs> Am I wrong? I, mean, I I didn't say you, you were. Netflix, why do you think Netflix and these streaming services have such a hard time with you know viewership and retention? It's yeah, content just isn't filling. It's 
popcorn at the theater. You know, you munch on it, but you still need a real meal afterward. That might be true. Um, it they're they're playing it safe, just like Disney's doing, where it's a cookie cutter format where you don't, you know. No, oh, that <laughs> that it, that is its own thing right there. Uh, I will I will definitely give you that. Um. There is certainly an element of playing it safe. Um, exactly. Excellent. But it's not just cinema. It's it's everywhere. Well, it's not that there couldn't be new stories, though. It is part of the part of the problem and part of the complaint. Could there be? I mean, yeah, yeah. There, there's always room for new stories. Have you walked through a Barnes and Nobles lately? I mean, it's a different cover, but it's the same book every every one of them. Yeah, but that that doesn't necessarily mean that there are no news stories. It just means that people aren't writing them, or is it that they're not writing them, or that the the buyers aren't buying them because they're worried about investing in a dud because the process is tailored to run the blockbuster even though the blockbuster may not be what actually happens <laughs> uh yeah that that is look i when when they rebooted spider-man the last time one of the things i was kind of glad of is they just did a wink and a nod going all right we all know we all know how the kid got here right all right Tony Stark's just going to pick him up and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. A and I do appreciate that. Hello, Beach Duck. We were just talking about spoilers and the sixth sense. And somehow you came up. How are you doing? Well, of the two of us on, I'm still rank one, so. Oh. What is your rank? 616. Point... Mm -mm. I'm 698.24. Huh. It just told me I was rank one. Oh, well. Because you were the first run to. Because you were the first one to run it since uh, I logged in. Ah. One of the background processes isn't running. I'm gonna have to figure out how to how to get uh, an accurate result without everyone being here to tell it. <laughs> yeah, because we we seem to be struggling with the whole uh, together at a particular time thing. Um, well, especially with new jobs. And oh yeah, yeah. Seat. Don't 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 hear what I'm not saying. I I understand a lot of why it's, why it is. Doesn't mean I have to like it. It just means I understand. <laughs> All right, that's that one. All right, there's nothing over the hole where those guys drop. Oh, er. That should be a hole. That should be a sand. I just realized that I probably shouldn't have started with the, the corner closest to my exit. <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, I am, I am happy that your your bad pun did not go across uh, across chat. No. <laughs> <sighs> we'll get there. Anyway, I said that could be a prickly uh, mistake. Yeah. For those curious. <laughs> Didn't want to leave the audience out, out of the loop on that one. 
let's uh, oh, oh no no that is not the time for a lag spike <laughs> standing precariously over the hole is not the time for a lag spike <laughs> i mean i don't know that there is a time for a lag spike but i know yeah i got to i got to get that uh, automated reboot task set up Uh, it should have, I, I think the automated backup fortunately comes, uh, pre-built in. Like, you can automate a bunch of different things, but one of the things that, uh, is already there and ready to run as soon as you set your server up is the, uh, the, the backup service. Hmm. I need more, uh, slabs. I need a lot more slabs. I should probably also sleep. At least I should sleep in the game. I don't, I don't know about, you know. <laughs> no, I, I should probably sleep in real life too, but I can't seem to manage that one. <sighs> All right. No, but getting back getting back to the the whole stories thing uh at a at a certain level no story is new but i mean the same can be said about music at some point you know yeah it's the same chord well that that's that's what i was getting ready to get at but i mean you can do the same story in new ways in interesting ways that doesn't necessarily involve a ginormous galaxy that always happens to have a solo a skywalker and a palpatine floating around in the same quadrant coincidentally why <laughs> why would why would you want to do that why would i want a large and vital world i don't know <laughs> yeah but you don't want a large and world you want star wars no you want an expanded universe <laughs> well that's what all the books are for but certain mice like to throw those out the window and use them as like what toilet paper or something what 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 books what are these books of which you speak oh don't you start <laughs> <laughs> i i see no books i mean i've heard there were some legends the books are right there. They're on. They're on the shelf. They're right there. Don't you start. <laughs> Walk over in that camera and start smacking you with them. <laughs> oh, I gotta go back down into the cactus farm, and I uh, uh, egg spikes. Mm. <sighs> um. Focusing on the big galaxy is not what made Star Wars 8 uh, suck. Having, s <laughs> having two different directors with very different visions is why Star Wars 8 sucked. And quite frankly, one of the two was not exactly well known for figuring out how to finish a story. I mean, you might even say that sometimes he gets a little too lost. I mean, Captain Lensflare can start a good story. He just can't, uh, just can't seem to finish it. <laughs> I, I don't think so much that it was a scope issue. I think it was a story issue. Uh, yeah, it, it was definitely a story issue. Oh. Yeah. Uh... Just, just to give you a single note or topic okay. of the the entire three-part trilogy. Let, let's go to one specific thing. 
how in any lore, in any way, and if you're going to throw out all the books, like the mouse said they were, Mm -hmm. and let's look at just the three movies, the original trilogy, where we see Luke Skywalker from, you know, teenager to middle adulthood. At what point in any of that would you ever believe that he would attack yeah. a subordinate, let alone a child? A child, again, related to him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but again, I, I don't... You have this idealistic person who spent I, I, two full movies trying to bring back the big bad guy from the brink of evil and bring him to the light side. You have later a little teenager who has got some like rebellious tendencies. We're just going to cut his head off. I mean... <laughs> I, I deeply doubt that that particular episode was part of the original plan. I I really think that that was a Ryan Johnson thing. And that is why that is why we got that part of, of it. Because because if you if you go to the Force Awakens, you get a very very different feel for why why all of a sudden why Luke is absent, and I really really think that it was one of those things that Ryan Johnson changed from what was originally planned and we come back to the core part of this this is what happens when you get two different directors who aren't on the same page and have very different views like look at the look at the characterization of Kylo Ren between the first and second part of that trilogy you, you get two very, very different people. And, and same with uh, same with a lot of the other characters. So if you're gonna if you're gonna go with Ryan Johnson, go with Ryan Johnson. If you're going to go with JJ, go with JJ. Uh, don't don't pitch don't switch between the two of them. Um, <laughs> that way lies the dark side. <laughs> I just, yeah, that that transfer of his character essence kills me. Now, if you want to push that further, we can discuss the changes to the galaxy as a whole. At the end of episode six, we see the galaxy handed over to the New Republic. Now, the problem is, is you have a, a flourishing government. Why did you need a brand new governing body of bad guys when you could, <laughs> if you didn't throw it out the window... You could have gone with the realize, remnant of the Empire? Yeah. Exactly. You have these, you know, uh, the entire, like, I want to say 50 to, uh, 50 to 60 books, I think. Yeah, 50 to 60 books following episode 6 are basically the... You, you're either directly related to or in the background information given about what the Republic is having to do to yeah. get rid of these warlords that are the remnants of the... You know... Because you still have... You didn't destroy the entire Empire at... Uh, not not overnight. Uh. <laughs> no. They're still there, and they still have these huge ships and crews that are listening to them. And an yeah. ideal 
that leads them to want to continue the fight. So you still have all nine. <laughs> listen to that number. All yep. nine of the Grand Admirals in play. And and you don't think they're just going to go, oh, man, the big cheese is gone. Oh, well, I guess I'll quit and go home now. They are the big cheese. <laughs> no, they are the big cheese now. Well, okay. <laughs> well, they were always the big cheese, just the other guy was, was smart about how he handled stuff. You know, choke, choke, stab, kill, you know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, <laughs> advancement was a... Material styles, <laughs> you know. You know yeah. <laughs> Um, and, and, and yes, Axonem, it, it's, uh, it is abundantly clear that you have two different directors with two different visions just on, just on that alone. Yeah. Kylo, Kylo Ren did go through a seriously weird change. You know, episode seven, he was this menacing force. Yes, you you were getting uh, clone of Vader vibes, but I didn't mind it so, as much as other people did because that was that was given a reasonable explanation in universe. He's got the crazy Darth Vader vibes because he's trying to emulate Vader. Wait, okay, that works. That's a legit reason for you to have somebody that is not Vader seem an awful lot like Vader. Because, well, he's trying to emulate his, you know, grandpappy. It, it's, it's, when you, it's when you get a, uh, some of the character beat clones that don't fit in that you start getting into the like, oh, okay, wait a second. Uh, they're they're doing what like in all the worldwide galaxy we got okay that's too coincidental uh, yeah that kind of stuff that's when we start getting into the weird like all right guys you killing me smalls and somewhere in there I might actually finish the sentence maybe after I get a little more coffee in me. Instead, I'm going to keep squinting in the dark and uh, and precariously hang on the edge. Um. Yeah, yeah. It, it, if it if it had just been like the the first order feels the need to have a Vader, then you know. We, we we got this guy here who seems pretty tough. That that would have been that would have been different. Um, but the fact that he has a familial connection and it is it is a a form of ancestor worship, hero worship that he chooses to do what he's doing. That's what makes it. That's what made it okay, or at least okay for me, because that at least felt good enough in universe. Yeah, but getting to Axonim's point, uh, guy on Planet X, you know, just random guy. Uh, yeah. I think you hit the nail on the head in describing a different character, Snoke. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You're supposed yeah. to have this supremely powerful Sith entity who we know absolutely nothing about, that you give us absolutely nothing about mm -hmm. and is killed in the most punk way imaginable. Well, second most. I think Boba Fett getting hit by a blind guy into a Sarlacc pit kind of takes the you know, chump death award. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we, we, we can sit here and have a debate on who the most chump death was inside the quote-unquote canon. Um, and I would probably say it was Guido, but... Well, okay. Now, 
I mean, he was gunned down in cold blood. He hadn't even got his pistol out yet. I mean, it was just horrible. Hey, what what kind of bounty hunter can't manage to get his pistol out in time or see that this is not going the way you expect? Oh, oh, that's right. The ones with uh, short careers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's... Uh, yes, Captain Phasma was a lost opportunity. But I, I think we're, 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 again, finding more symptoms of the same root cause. You had J.J. Abrams setting up a world. And then Ryan Johnson going, eh, I don't like that. And trying to turn a fantasy tribute, to be kind. I, I could use less kind words, but... I, I choose to be kinder than some of the people I've read. Um, I don't know why. I really don't. And, uh, you, you got J.J. Abrams trying to build a fantasy tribute, and then you've got Ryan Johnson going, eh, I want this to have a World War II feel for no good reason. And so you get the slow, ponderous space battles when we've seen far more than that previously. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. That last one, episode nine, that was atrocious. That was... But I mean, at, at that point, what do you do? The, I, I don't know that there is a saving that at that point. Well, you don't start the thing off breaking physics. I mean... Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, you know. I mean, come on. Yeah. You don't just jump into gravity wells with light... Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Not... <laughs> Feel the hate. <laughs> and we're not even going to go into the, the episode before that where they run out of... It. Oh, nope, nope. We're not, we're not going to that one. <laughs> How does a fusion engine run out of gas? We have advanced <laughs> technology to the point where we have fusion engines, <laughs> laser weapons, and you still use fossil fuels? I'm sorry. Hold on a minute. Let me stop over here at, like, you know, 7-Eleven Space Edition. Look, look, 8472 was having a really bad day, and he just forgot to top off the tank, okay? There is no tank! He, <laughs> he has consequently been sacked in the most British way possible, because every space villain in the Star Wars world sounds vaguely British. Or less than vaguely British. Killing me. Killing me. I know, I know, Duh, I know. I stand by my original assumption that Ray should have been the descendant of. Should have been a Kenobi? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that. That would have. Oh. <laughs> Although. Wouldn't she be in a bit, a little, a little uh, young, or are we just saying that that Kenobi, Kenobi managed some other stuff in his old age? Um, what are you talking about? You Hefner's got like several young wives. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it there. I, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know that. <laughs> I mean, I know he was a master swordsman and all, but uh All right, let, let's stop before that drifts any yeah. any less family friendly yeah. than uh I try to keep it. I know. I know. Even in episode 4, I mean, he never had a problem getting his uh lightsaber work properly. So, I mean, I guess he kept the power cells, you know, charged. Seriously. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! Dang that stupid hole. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> he never had a pistol. He <laughs> borrowed one in episode, like, was it two or three? I don't remember. I think it was two. Yeah. You get the famous line of... So uncivilized. Uh, yeah. <laughs> such an uncivilized weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. 
Okay, that, that was a little closer to uh, the edge than I wanted. All right. Uh, well, I mean, they would have had to have when, when they still had the possibility of Ray being a Kenobi. Uh, at this point, I don't know. That, that's a really good question. I, I kinda I kinda hope not at this point, but because Kenobi was uh, was the the one who followed mostly followed the rules, <laughs> and, and so would have. Mm, no, he didn't. <laughs> I I said mostly. <laughs> he was just as much a problem child <laughs> to the council as his predecessor. Uh, was. Are, are, are are we talking the the good books or the movies we have to work with in canon? Where I'm talking about the books we have to work with in canon, and if we want to pull in, you know, the the true uh, story, the books, I can I can cite references from there too. Well, I, I kind of th th this is where I kind of wish I had watched Clone Wars because I heard that that was a really good cartoon series that had a rough. Yeah, you know, the the first se the first season ish was a little rough, but after that it got really good. And then uh, and then Rebels happened, and everybody's trying to pretend like uh, we we forgot about that. Like like to the point to the point that there's a the only thing <laughs> there, there's only an animated thing. Star Trek series that Tom watched because you know he wants to watch anything Star Trek. So he goes and he goes, yeah, you know, instead of doing Clone Wars, they just skip straight to the Rebels. <laughs> that was like, uh. So, so what I hear you saying is don't, just don't. <laughs> it, it's... Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, jumping around is not the time for lag spikes. Of course, we seem to have drifted from the original bit about spoilers, but I mean... I, I, I will say, though, that uh, Empire Strikes Back was definitely a part of the spoiler discussion. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't think it counts. I mean, yeah, there's, there's a, a big spoiler there, but it's not something that's, you know, going to keep you from coming back to watch it again. Well, no, no, because again, those are two different, those are two different things. Uh, will you watch something again, even knowing the twists and the spoilers? Yes. Uh, there, there's a lot of stuff that, that I watch. There are mysteries that I watch, even though I know, you know, exactly what's going to happen because I've already seen it once. Um, but there's enjoying a good story. Like, uh, Andrew Main was mentioning that, you know, he's seen Jaws two dozen times and he still jumps every time, even though he knows exactly when the startling things are about to happen because it's a good story and you just get... You just get so sucked into it that, you know, yeah, and, and that is part of it, too. You know, so, so yes, you will never have that, like, I just fell over on my chair moment after yeah, the dramatic line reveal that Soylent Green is people, uh, but that doesn't change that you're, you know. That that doesn't that doesn't change that it's still worth uh, still worth watching, still worth checking out, and you know enjoying.
So, yeah. Uh, spoiler. Yeah, some, something spoiled versus something um, worth seeing again are definitely two different things. Even, even with the shock. I mean... I mean, do, do, <laughs> sorry. I, I was about this close to just going full-on spoiler and stuff and, and realized that I might want to stop myself. Of course, that was also part of the discussion was whether or not we've gotten a little too... Excuse me. A, a little too precious about the spoiler and stuff. And, and that uh, some people have gotten crazy about this. Like, like the, there are people, there are people complaining about uh, casting announcements, claiming that you know, saying so and so will be uh, taking the helm as such and such character. That's a spoiler, and, and you you ruin the moment because I didn't know that character would be in there if you hadn't have said that. And that that. That's that step too far for me. That that's just a tad too ridiculous. Uh, which relationships the the lag is strong today? Both both network and host. <laughs> if you catch my drift. <laughs> I tried the coffee enhancement pack and uh, <laughs> the Java update only helped the server. It didn't help the host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, character moments that matter. Yeah. Um, it is one of the reasons that I enjoy some of the film critic shows that I do. I, I watched The Critical Drinker I would not recommend watching that with your children. <laughs> it is a good show, but I, <laughs> uh, it is it is definitely a, a a very brutal kind of sarcasm and funny, but insightful in a very good sort of way. Um, you can learn a lot about what makes good cinema good and bad cinema bad by watching what some of the critics uh, the the decent critics uh, complain about and that's one of the reasons why I like watching the CinemaSins channel it, is it's kind of some of the yes yeah, some of the stuff some of the stuff they send is ridiculous because it's funny and it's a shtick and they are first and foremost comedians that aside there's a lot of stuff that they're really good about, and, and uh, sorry, I'm trying to navigate inventory while explaining, and, and <laughs> my computer's not the only thing struggling with resources at the moment. Uh, to that point, Cinefix has some really good. Um, serious explainers that aren't the, the funny, sarcastic kind of, or funny, haha -ha kind of moments. Uh, and I really enjoy a lot of their stuff too, for, for that reason, because that it is a little bit more of the, the serious kind of, okay, let's break down the art of the scene. Let's break down, uh, the difference between the book and the movie on these two things. Um... That kind of stuff. Ow. And there we go. Second layer complete. If I can get out of here with... <laughs> if I can get out of here alive. I, yeah, no. I still have le fewer deaths than uh, Arcadius. For now. Uh... Until next season, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
there we go. Oh, I I actually have uh, more sand left over than I was expecting. Do another row. Uh, don't think I haven't thought about that. <laughs> like I that's, I that's not that's not totally over engineered yet. You need to do at least three more rows. Look, you, you're teasing me, but I almost <laughs> built this five layers high. The problem is I only have one double chest under here, so I'm kind of limited <laughs> in how big I can make it. That's what you get for putting it so low. Yeah, well, you see, <laughs> what happened was I didn't think this one all the way through. <laughs> oh, well, that's, that's a new concept. What, thinking it all the way through? Oh, I don't think any of us on this surface <laughs> ever. <laughs> What, think it all through? Yeah. Oh, I'll just build this base like this. Halfway into the build, it's like 5,000 times bigger than you thought it was going to be. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I know perfectly well that we both know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I distinctly remember at least two seasons in a row where I couldn't finish my base. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, <laughs> you see. <laughs> oh, I, I still, I still, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish all my projects in time. I, I did, I actually for once did finish my goal this season. <laughs> wasn't to do the challenges it wasn't to you know engineer anything it was to make that island a floating city and i've done it <laughs> it's done <laughs> i couldn't there's nothing i could do to that thing to make it any better other than possibly throw armor stands all over the place and just lag the server to death oh go decorate dude i did two guardsmen mm -hmm. at the entrance to the palace and they both cost like 10 armor stands a piece. <laughs> Oof. Well, yeah, because you're also going all zombie Cleo on it, too. Well, I mean, they've got to have weapons. I mean, you can't just have yeah. a guard stand in there. Yeah, I, I don't. I haven't quite gone the whole 48 wide kelp farm yet. Uh, this is only 16, 16 plants. Actually. If y'all could drop, like, three more right now, I'd greatly appreciate that. Because uh, I'd like to get four stacks cooking. I did see something <laughs> coming in, though, when you jumped. Yeah, the this melon farm is, has been absolutely fantastic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to build one of these, but... I think I'm going to try to build it to the build limit. And just have a giant tower of... Uh... Oh, come on. Uh, two more? Two moss? <laughs> yes, jumping at it is going to make that happen. It could. Oh, yeah. Um... Normally, I would have that running right into some uh, smokers running running off of one of these. But because we're on Skyblock and we've got the weird, we got the the limitation on hoppers. I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to over overrun all my hoppers into just that one little thing. When we when we get back on a vanilla server at the beginning of the new year, uh, at which point we'll also be updated to uh, one dot eighteen, yeah, the current one. Uh, we'll jump back up into the current one. Uh, that then we'll then we'll have some real fun connecting some of these things together. It, it's been an interesting exercise to to be limited to. 50, yeah, 
you, you have 50, 50 hoppers per island, period, full stop. May the odds ever be in your favor. And, uh... That's been the interesting part. Oh. Yeah, I saw I, I saw you talking to uh, Prowl about that on Twitter. I, I just didn't know what the bug was in reference to. I just knew that there was a weird issue on Bedrock that is apparently going to be patched out in the next update, if I got that right. Of course, I... <sighs> I, I would love to finally get parity between Java and Bedrock, and maybe even the ability to, uh, I don't know, connect to each other's servers. Because it, it, it would be really nice if we could do something like that. Like, uh, I, I wouldn't mind getting uh, Beast Lord J on, on a shared world of some sort. Maybe not necessarily CoffeeCraft, that would be a server-wide discussion, but... Uh, we can't, because uh, he's on a PlayStation, the only thing he'd have access to would be Bedrock. So it's not even, uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I've heard they're, they're, um, special is a word. Oh, I forgot I closed these off when I went AFK, because I, I didn't want something coming around and murdering my villagers again, if that was indeed what the problem was. I don't think that's what that was, but, all right. <laughs> that that was the other that's the other limitation to skyblock that I'll be very happy to be rid of 16 villagers full stop that is the skyblock island cap 16 villagers and uh I, I, I would like some more please well I think that <laughs> would have been mitigated if we had gone with the full skyblock and gotten the uh currency stuff done in the shop um partly yes oh I left the farm off alright I'll fix that in a little bit <laughs> don't worry guys I'll fix your little red wagon <laughs> do, do I need to do a full rest and yell at you to look at your station Oh, no, there we go. It seems to work for her. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the crouching under one and a half blocks is an amazing addition that I didn't think would make as big a difference as it did, but it did. Um, I'm not sure what, uh, what offhand is it? <laughs> what offhand is your offhand problem? <laughs> I'm not as, I'm not as familiar with Bedrock, so I, I don't, I just don't, I don't know. Um, quick move. Oh, are you talking about the, the sprint, like where you double tap forward and you start running? Oh, okay. So you can't do like I'm doing here and have your food in the offhand or anything like that. Just shields, totems, maps, firework rockets. Oh, oh that. Okay, yeah. That that's one of those things that uh, <laughs> I use so much and I never even really thought too much about. All right. Let's, uh, you know what, let's stock up on some of those. Oh, almost everything's fixed up. Oh, so not even for flying? Not even for Elytra? Just your crossbow? Because that's the other thing. Uh, it <laughs> I didn't finish all the challenges to get another access, unfortunately. Um, not, or sorry, not another access, uh, access to the end. And I don't think I'm going to make it before Christmas. That That's part of why I really wanted to try to speed up the cactus farm. And I'm kind of wishing I'd done that way earlier. Uh, 
because I forgot just how much sand was needed. I also thought a wandering trader would be by that I could trade with, but um, they're jerks. Even if they did come by, the most they could give you is 24. Uh, no, because I, I thought they'd be able to get you a stack. Mm -mm, 24. No, 24 trades. It, it's a question of how many sand per emerald. Yeah, that, that, but again, but you know, that's one of the things that I, you know, you go back and look at all my season one videos and once we got Elytra, I got a rocket in my offhand and that's just, you know, actually, no, I think I had food in the offhand the whole time too. Either way, uh, <laughs> that, that's definitely one of the, uh, yeah. All right. There was something I was going to do if I finished that early. No. Oh. I'm also going to mourn my dead snowman. Would you like to build a snowman? Yeah, I think I'm okay. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter because this farm doesn't work because some genius forgot that uh, snow snowmen only leave snow layers at y equals 124 and above in Mushroom Islands. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Someone was very much not happy to learn of that. That little thing. All right. How many I needed? Oh, I have kelp blocks. Uh, how many kelp did I need for the challenge? What challenges are left? Okay, so let's start with the novice challenges. I, I finished the cobblestone generator a couple times. Uh, I finished the apple collector a couple times, despite despite the game. <coughs> something something dice rolls. I completed Sugar Farm 107 times. Uh, I completed Melon Farmer 294 times. And Cactus Farmer 425 times. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. NBT. Not NFT. It also doesn't help that... Uh, there's a auto shop called NTB in the area, and I keep trying to call it NBT because data files. Uh, Pumpkin Farmer's been 138 times, Stone Brick Maker, and I reached Island 500. I really need that, that gif on a button so that way when I say that I reach Sky Lord, somebody can go, Who? Oh, <laughs> uh, Lumberjack was finished a couple of times. Shroom Picker was picked once. Because I... What am I going to do with all that mycelium? Now that I got the, the cows, the mushrooms. Potato Harvester has been turned in a few times for dirt. I should probably do that more. So I get more dirt for the island above. Uh, carrot Farmer has been done a couple times because one golden carrot for that many regular carrots is a ripoff. Uh, wheat Farmer is done. Monster Farm is done. Homeowner is done. Nether Mining has been done once. And I probably ought to gather everything to do it again because I could really use another blaze rod for my uh, brewing stand. I, I, I believe I'm running a little low on fuel. Not that I've been brewing that many potions this season. Yeah. All right. I got a blaze powder in reserve. Still, it'd be kind of nice. Sawmill has been completed. 
torch maker has been completed. Expert farmer has been completed twice to get my two cows. Fisherman's been completed. Uh, and there's no point in repeating it again because I, I, I get plenty of lapis from the cobble generator. I get plenty of, I get plenty of prismarine from the, the guardian farm. Uh, I got the kelp farm going. Same for the crystals. Wool collector's done a few times. Uh, we, I, I was going to breed, uh, the sheep for the mutton farm. And I started breeding them a couple of times. And I'm like, wait a second. I get a sheep for every time I turn in the wool farm, right? And so I just murdered the sheep I was trying to breed and uh, ran this enough times to get the sheep and just spawn them in the thing. Okay, I still need to get Maestro. And for that, I need all the music discs and a jukebox. I do not have all the music discs. I got like three of them. Uh, Let's go get a creeper in a... Uh... Well, one, one of these challenges actually gives you a music disc. I just don't remember which one it was. Uh, Glassmaker. Glassmaker is the one that you get a one or two discs and an emeralds. Who pluralized em one emeralds? <laughs> Just to get your goat, I guess. Uh, no, we, we get goats in the next season. <laughs> goats should definitely drop ribs. Mo oh, Yang, chop chop. No. What? No, not goat ribs. Talking about pigs? No, no. What 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 meat product should Yeah, we got pork chops and we got steaks and mutton chops. What what, what would be the appropriate uh differential cut for uh for a uh, for a goat? Stew. <laughs> goat stew. It's a little weird that it's dropping stew. Uh No, it's not. Where else are you going to hide that meat? Well, I mean, you could have it drop haggis, but that would be sheep. Well, I mean, you know. All right. I still need to do another fortress. So I guess, I, yeah, I need to get cracking on getting some uh, nether bricks. <laughs> uh, I need to finish the glass one a few times. Uh, Carpenter's done. Cookie Lover's done. Deep Sea Fishing. Oh, I need to do Deep Sea Fishing. But that's the one that I'm having trouble with because I need fish that I'm not getting and I need a Nautilus shell, which I have yet to fish up. Because my luck. Horsing Around's been done. Slime Farm's been done a few times. And I can't do Wither Hunter until I get another Fortress. Uh, Pearl Collector is done. Ooh, I could do that one for the Blaze Rods. I need an Enderman Farm. Both for the Pearls and to get the Blaze Rods. Uh, I've done Technician. Emerald Collector. Top Chef. Taj Mahal. I'm working on Great Pyramid. I can't do that one until I get DC fishing. I can't do this one until I get Nether Fortress, Maestro, and Wither Hunter. Yikes. Uh, and that end portal I can't do until I get all four of those. Oh! Oh, I can do the fancy foods. Ooh. All right. I'm curious now. How many of how many of these can I can I complete like right this minute with what I got handy? Some twenty eight. Three. <sighs> Thanks. Alright. 
Let's get five cakes, five pumpkin pies, and 128 cookies. I got three tacos. <laughs> I don't think that's the same. That's what the goats should drop. What? Tacos? tacos? Or gyros? Oh, the goat should drop a gyro. <laughs> Although, is that goat or is that something else? Yeah, I think that's something else. Sauce. I mean... Uh, look, I, I just ate dinner not that far back, and I want a sandwich. Of course, I was already, <laughs> I was already mad because I, I, I'm walking from the parking lot to the apartment. And somebody just had a freshly delivered, very fresh pizza because that's all I can smell on the walk from the parking lot to the apartment is fresh cooked pizza. And I'm going, man, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, hungry. <laughs> that's mean. What? The, the smell of pizza? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Probably just the pizzeria down the road with the window open and a fan. Oh no, that that was that that was uh, <laughs> Trips, the restaurant that used to exist in, in Fayetteville. Uh, they 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 were over by the Healthplex, uh, one of the fitness centers in the area, and they were they were very fond of cooking some really nice chicken and stuff with the window open. You know, over by the gym where people were finishing out up their workouts. I mean, of course, you need that uh, protein after a workout, right? Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, that's exactly it. Need the protein. The, you know, the rolls and the mashed potatoes and all that it just comes with it. So I mean, it'd be a shame for it to go to waste. Yeah, yeah. You you wouldn't want to waste food. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I need I need sugar for. Um, for the uh, cake, don't I? Because it's wheat, sugar, an egg, and two buckets of milk, or three? Uh, I'm having another short-term memory moment. Yeah, I remember that the ghosts were supposed to drop a horn, and I thought they didn't implement that because they weren't ready to do the thing that the whatever the thing was that the um, that the horn was used for as a component. I could be misremembering that though. All right, if I were me, yep, oh, there we go. These two have been busy. <laughs> there, there's legit only two chickens in there too. If I were me, I would have put a crafting bench. There we go. Can't blame me this time for not being able to find stuff. I mean, I can. It's just not. <laughs> it's. Just <laughs> I have many years experience blaming you for stuff, even if it isn't your fault. Please tell me someone clipped that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not as bad as some for, you know, I made sure you were at least in the room. <laughs> isn't the holiday season supposed to make you feel good about your childhood? No. Oh. That's what they are oh. for. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I need... Oh, I need five cakes, not three. Five cakes. All right. Sorry, guys. Four... Five. I'm going to need the eggs for the pumpkin pie. Mm. Mm. Pumpkin pie. How many pumpkin pies did I need? 
all of them. All right, five cakes. Check five pumpkin pies. Check. And... I need... 128 cookies. I need two sleeves of cookies. <laughs> we don't have that. Uh, I mean, I'm joking, but I, I almost want a stack of cookies to be renamed a sleeve of cookies. Like, leave everything else a stack, but, you know, you get a sleeve of cookies. Now I really want... Depends on the cookie. Depends on the cookie. Because Oreos come in trays. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that's fair. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, there you go, Rest. It is apparently clipped. <laughs> Yay. Oh... Uh. Download it before I get a chance to disappear. <laughs> Who clipped it? <laughs> Axonim clipped it. Oh, thank you, Axonim. Oh, did he? Yeah. I just finished doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> really? People love me. I feel loved. <laughs> Move <to laughs> <laughs> The name. Yeah, yeah, I yep. like that. How do I save it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. No, for serious. How do I save this, like, <laughs> forever? <laughs> I'll, I'll help you do it after the stream. Okay. Better make it quick. <laughs> Save it for me. Download it. Make it forever. <laughs> Make it forever. <laughs> like, like medics. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I was supposed to. I was supposed to get that as a uh, sound alert for him too. And I keep forgetting. <laughs> I I can't find my copy of the original. I mean, uh, I can't find a copy of the original. Oh, I of which one. his jump scare. Yeah. I love that video. Okay, I have cookies. <laughs> All right, challenges. Patisserie completed. <laughs> and I got plenty of cookies left over. Five gold ore and a diamond. And some raviolis and a nap. Raviolis and a nap. Raviolis and a nap. I love John Panay. All right. What's the next one? No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. I didn't mean to teleport. I wanted the button next to it. Uh. Rest his soul. He was amazing. Belgian. Oh. I is he, uh. No longer among us? Yeah, he passed away in 2014. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. 16 of those. of milk again I'm noticing all these desserts involve lots of milk and sugar <laughs> kind of like most desserts <laughs> well, I was getting ready to say kind of like you know the shows that some people have been watching all right so patisserie is done now we're going to do belgian chocolate which is 16 sugar 16 ink sacks which i don't really want to think too hard about and a milk bucket 
Ooh. Is that a music disc I don't have? <laughs> Server whispers to you the Wikipedia link for Belgian chocolate. Um. <laughs> Alright, is this a new one or one that I already have? See, oh, I already got one of those. How many music discs are there? Maestro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so there's 12, 12 discs. I've got two, three, four, five. Ah. Although the Belgian chocolate was easy enough to come by, I, I just need to. Um, Fly to Belgium? Ah, uh, well, you know. No, I just need to get that farm going back as a regular farm and not a guardian farm. And um, I, I seem to I seem to end up with plenty of uh, ink sacks. I got to get the sugarcane farm going though. That's for sure. Wait, why do I have two boxes for sugarcane? Maybe you were anticipating a lot. I Never mind. I'm not going to think too hard about it. Does anybody need uh, a music disc? Small. Mm -mm. No? You're not going to try to complete that challenge? To. I'm not going to complete any challenges in there. I just had fun playing around with the new mechanics. <laughs> Are you are you not gonna log on real quick or uh, play around or have you not finished? No, I'm uh, still eating tacos. Ooh. I have many baby tacos to eat. I didn't even take a real lunch break today, so. Maybe. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was one of those days. Mm. I've had those days. I have had those days. All right, what uh? So we got patisserie, we got Belgian chocolate. Pasta fungi. You. Ooh, that one might be trouble. I don't. I don't know that I have enough uh, brown or red mushroom. Nope. I need to. I need to get some more. Uh, I need to harvest some more mushrooms. Ooh. Do I have what it takes for brownies? Mm. Sixteen. We have some of those. Sixteen wheat. Sixteen sugar. Sixteen eggs. Sixteen ink sacks. <laughs> a milk bucket. All right, I know I got the wheat and eggs. Ink. I'm not sure. I don't know why I bothered putting the bucket away. Every every stinking one of these is going to require a bucket of milk. I might as well just get a a stack of buckets of milk. crafting table right over here by the cows. That oh, seems wait. a strange place for one. Alright, so brownies. 16 wheat, sugar, egg. Oh, eggs. Can't forget the eggs. It, it really is a shame when you start cooking stuff and uh, <laughs> you don't have everything you need right in front of you. There 
we go. There's my brownies. And why do I have a funny feeling I've already got that music disc too? Which one's that? Far? I mean, it's far from the one I would have chosen. Although the, these uh, these international foods seem like the, the trick for all these music discs. Uh, word far. Yep, I already got far. Ah. All right, what's next on that uh, food list? I'm not even going to try it. German. It's a German snack. Schnitzel? Schnitzel. Starts with an A, and it's probably very delicious. I need eight apples, 16 wheat, 16 sugar. That's my last 16 sugar until I get the sugar cane farm going. Eight apples... I have those now. Wheat and sugar. Pretty sure that's just apple strudel. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's the German name for apple strudel. <laughs> don't don't get me. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try that one. Sugar in the milk bucket. Ta-da! Did I finally get an... You know what? Let me just go ahead and get a head start and go ahead and grab that milk bucket now. Uh, that is blocks, and I don't think I have that one yet. Yeah, this might be the ticket to get Maestro. Uh... Chirp, Mall, Far, Ward, Eleven. Now blocks. All right, there's six of the twelve. I think it was. I think I'm halfway there. All right. Uh, something Dutch. I need sixty-four potatoes and sixty-four carrots. I got that. Wait, no milk? No sugar? How can you have a snack without heavy cream and sugar? Well, I mean... <laughs> Alright. Ta-da! And I... I think I've already got cat. If you ask the cute puppy, the certain orange sticks are a snack, and they don't have either. Uh, yes, but that certain puppy will eat anything and everything you set before him. Isn't that right? Well, maybe just a little bit. Some stuff you don't set in front of him, so. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you hold your breadstick a little too low, he might take a nab at that one as well. All right, that storage he area is hungry. Too we don't feed him ever. Far. Beg to differ. <laughs> As the person that got robbed of a breadstick, I'm I'm kind of offended. <laughs> Wouldn't have to eat your breadsticks if we fed him. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's it. <laughs> he just did what he had to to survive. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, have fun axing him. We're, we're, we're probably not that far behind today. Uh, we're almost at... The, we're at an hour 45, and... I've still got to upload Friday's Friday's video. i still got to go through Friday's video. So I can double check the, uh, the volume levels and all that. 
Oh, fish and chips. Why didn't I do fish and chips? I, I should totally have that one. Because mm. I I have I have plenty of cod. <laughs> oh, I have so much cod. Alright, but that, that that's supposed to be cooked cod, right? Yeah, cooked cod. 32. And 32 baked potatoes. That's not going to be a problem either. Now I could go for some fish and chips. Like I'm, for reals. Yeah, like for reals. Fish and chips and a pint. That's what I'm talking about. A good fish and chips. And a good pint. I like would say all pints are good, but... No, 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 no. I would not say that all pints are good. But I, I remember my college years. I, I've had some pints. <laughs> some pints do, do not make you wiser. Alright, so I'm waiting for the fish and chips to cook. Um... Yeah, any, anything that requires tropical fish is going to be a problem. Although I might be able to do this one. Because I only need two tropical fish. You don't fish. like the fishes? They're not so delicious? Uh, I like the fishes, but you, you'll... No, I have a tropical fish. I'm not catching them. They're, they're, they're just not... I don't know. They're not his friend. No, they're not. Maybe I should go on a bit of a fishing trip, though. Because that is, that is the holdup for a bunch of challenges. I need tropical fish for the deep sea fishing. And I think I've got everything. No, I, I need tropical fish and a nautilus shell. And I should have everything else needed for that one. Uh, what was the other one that needed fish? The the smur the Danish treat. Okay. And you, you gotta make it with Cheese Danish. You gotta make it with salmon, pork chop, and beef and bread. I mean, are we talking like a, a turducken kind of thing where you put put the beef and the pork and... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I could get behind some of that anyway. All right, this should be getting done soon. I hate this part of cooking, when it's almost done and you're sitting there staring at it going, but, but I'm hungry. Could, could you not finish right now, please? Sooner? Yes? No? <laughs> All right. Challenges. Fish and chips. So wait, I just used a half stack of baked potatoes to get a quarter stack back? Yep. Okay. Uh, oh good. It's a new one. So that's eight of the music discs. So far. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to, like... Ooh, I need to switch my crop farm over to potatoes. And go turn the guardian farm back on for some cod. And just start cranking out the fish and chips. And, and get, uh, get all the discs that way.
because that's going to require that's going to require fishing. Uh, that's going to require. I need to I need to spend some time growing, <laughs> growing mushrooms. Still, that that's all but two of the uh, world foods challenge right there out of what I just had handy. <laughs> That's not bad. I can live with that. How's, uh... How's the cactus farm doing? I, I got plenty of that, even though... Eh. Alright, that, that is going a little bit faster, because that... It, well, I mean, it has, in fact, literally doubled the output. So that's, what, two, two sandstone every half hour? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think I'm going to have to leave myself logged in uh, AFK for the night. <laughs> Which reminds me, I still didn't, uh, I still didn't get an auto off for that. I really should work on the sugarcane farm, but I that that's going to take a little bit more than I've got the brain space for right this minute. And I think I think one of the things that I can do here uh, I just need to put actually I should put those on. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is rearrange this pickup system. Because I've got a little bit of a problem. That one cart is not picking up stuff fast enough. I really thought it would. Um, I also didn't think that many guardians were going to drop in this one little slice and I was going to have to expand it out to the entire chunk. That's what I get for thinking. Um, so let me get one more hopper. No, two more hoppers, because I'm going to need to make a hopper minecart. And let's see if we can't set it up so that way there are two rails running, which means I'm going to need some of those, some of those. Probably some of those. At least one of those. These and those and dems and does. Um. Oh no. Wherever will I find the iron to make another hopper and a minecart? And I'm going to need two more powered rail. cyan wool, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, and cyan carpet. Cyan wool, cyan carpet. Uh, what else did I say I needed? Power drill. Let me bring some regular rail just in case. That's almost certainly more than I need, but I'd rather have that than not. Alright, so we're going to get that guy going in there. Going to need... There. So, uh, oh, there we 
go. And there we go. And there we go. Bam. That's that done. Except I also need that so I can turn it off. Okay, goes down this way, around this way, back up this way, and that's where we get, no, not that one, that one. It's going to go, oh. I'm going to have to move that. Because this one is going to go. I need powered rail up there, right? Yep. I'm going to need regular rail there and there. I'm going to go down this way. Oh. There we go. And then we go around that way. And there. That was that was quicker than I was expecting. Okay. Not complaining. I need to leave the one block open because the way that raises up means that the the cart Oh, that is gonna be interesting. I gotta be careful of that. Because carts moving in different directions next to each other can cause some really weird problems, apparently. We'll see how that goes. And I'm going to have one extra magma cube because of that block there. And I'm not going to have, and I'm going to have an extra of those guys too for the same reason. So. Let's go to the island. Let's go to the biome. Let's go, not all, let's go to... chunk and I'm tempted to turn it into deep ocean so I can get the the guardian spawning but I know all I really need is squid and stuff so let's go let's go for the regular ocean because that should get me the uh, the ink sacs I need And then let's uh, let's get these guys are running. And then let's go put stuff away and take a nap. All right, so I didn't get to the the sugarcane farm because the I got distracted by other stuff. Imagine that. I am going to intend to 
do something like that or something about that off camera between now and the next time, I am going to preemptively realize that that is not realistic and not going to happen. So, you know. I just don't know when when I'm going to make the next bit happen. If I were me, I would there we go. Ah, I need to go trade anyway. Oh, I need to put the boots back. Cause I, I think yeah, some some of the some of the some of those recipes with enough squid can make that a lot. Oh, oh God! Wait, why aren't the squid falling? Look, if I get to get up here with my bow and arrow and shoot those fools out of the water, I will absolutely do that. <laughs> what? Laughing. Laughing about what? <laughs> you and your squid hate over there. Not squid hate. I just need the ink. How are you killing your guardians? Huh? By the fall. The squid should be dying then. Uh, no, they're, they're, they're swimming and just chilling. I don't have it on deep ocean. I just have it on regular ocean. <coughs> and the, the squid are just chilling there like jerks. Last time they had no problem falling. Well, that was last time. Yeah, all right, fine, fine. <laughs> all right, island biome, chunk, deep ocean. some of the ink sacks. But I, yeah, I think we got the same problem we had before. So many guardian are spawning. The squid are not. There, there's not enough uh, cap left for the squid to spawn. And I almost want to kill a uh, safe space for these guys to fall so that way I can do the player kill because I think that's the only way you get the salmon, right? Is if you kill the guardians and not the uh, not the fall. I don't remember. I don't know that I ever knew. Well, I was getting ready to say I, I thought you were the <laughs> one who never touched those fish anyway. I don't. Um, in my guardian farm on the server. They die to the guardians. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I actually have room for them to spawn in there. Is the problem? Like the cap is being eaten up, <laughs> getting pushed out the door by the dead guardians. I don't know why I'm crouching. I get that's the whole reason why I have these boots on. Um, do you have a hole in the roof at all, or is it completely pristine? Over. No, it's completely prismarined over. Okay. I, I, I It was my experience that I didn't even get guardians unless I left, like, sunlight access at, you know, some point in the uh, pool. So I took the middle nine yeah. blocks in the square out well, and just left it open. I saw that you had the middle open. 
Yeah. Like, that was the only way I was able to get the uh, the squid and cod and stuff to actually spawn in. Okay. Alright, let's go... Uh... I did leave myself a ladder up there, right? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm pretty sure I did. Let's go, uh, pokey hole, diggy diggy hole. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that I want to hurt my guardian production. That would be that would be just a shame. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 7 is 14, right? If I'm going to put a hole in this, I want to put it in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay. I've got a little hole in the middle. I almost want to fill in with glass just to, you know. Actually, I should put a glass cover on top of it. Uh... Ooh. If I put something on top of the prismarine, will that uh, stop this from working? Okay. Now I am getting some squid. Well, okay then. Doubt me. Yeah, yeah, I did. So if I put cyan glass over the hole, is that going to stop the squid from spawning? Like if I if I have, because uh, it's just got to be not the prismarine, right? Did did I just see a squid die in air, in mid air? Yeah, the guardians don't like them. Man. They'll shoot. Them. Well, I know they'll shoot them, but I wasn't expecting him to get shot out of the tank. Do they do they do they kill the dolphins too? Yeah. Angry fish kill everything. There you go. <laughs> Let's not take the rapid descent. Where the angry fish. Alright, I'm still getting squid. Or I saw some a minute ago. 
It really does feel like a blink and you miss it moment, though. No, oh, no, okay, there we go. Another squid just spawned in there. So with the glass over the middle, that gives me that gives me more than enough. Uh, that seems so wrong. I swear for a second there, I thought I heard a slime in there. I was like, uh, that shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, guess what else decided to make a an appearance in the kelp farm? <laughs> angry fish. God. There's not enough room for the angry fish to spawn. Well, there's also no prismarine over their heads. Yeah, there is. Not a full block, though. Just a slab. I I, I was not expecting... Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting cod in my uh, kelp farm. You didn't expect the uh, great cod? I, I did not expect to make uh, California rolls in the same farm. Wait, would that be a California roll? What will what, what be raw cod and... Uh, cod? Seaweed. You don't know. <laughs> That's not sushi. What's the one that I'm fishing? That it, that I'm fishing. Uh, <laughs> that I'm thinking of. That's just. Well, you're, you're fishing for something. That's right. Um, Salmon. Which 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 is where it's just you're really basically fish wrapped in sushi. Isn't well, there one that, that the <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I only was able to successfully do a Java update on the server, not a Java update on the operator. Are you talking about Nigiri? Maybe I don't know. Well, well I mean, technically, if you want the most basic, it's sashimi because that's just fish, no rice. And in a sushi wrap, or uh, if the fish is on top of the rice, then it's nigiri. If the if it's inside the roll, it's I think maki or miki or something like that. Maki or uramaki, something like that. I don't yeah. know how to pronounce it. Uh, well, you guys are the actual sushi eaters. I, I... I'm pretty sure it's called maki roll. I don't know, we should play Sushi Go again. <laughs> we should. I love that game. Simple, easy to teach. Fast Make sure that you know your uh, anatomy of sushi. Uh, I don't know. All, all I know is about matching in points and things. I, I don't know about what, what it actually is. I don't know that I need to know what it is for that game. It's got a picture. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It's an accurate picture. <laughs> I mean, minus the cartoon faces, but. Yeah, if it still has faces, I'm not eating it. <laughs> Alright, so that that actually helped with the with the pickup problem. Getting uh getting two minecarts going. That that did help with that a little bit. It's not quite backing up as much. The window, well, the window, the second story window, uh, took care of my squid. Thank you, Arcadius. You. I now need to go go convert my uh, farm over to potatoes, and I will have all the fish and chips to get albums with. I gotta, I gotta turn that off. Um, you get album smith? Yeah. You, you get a record when you turn in the fish and chips challenge. Ah. Let 
we grab two potatoes, or yeah, two stacks of each. Go bake the potatoes, and then I'll I'll harvest that and switch it over, and then I'll probably call it a night after that because the tired is real. I don't know if anybody else understands what that's all about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh huh. To the left, to the left. Now you know I'm really punchy. Actually, I could start feeding all the kelp into the bone meal, and then uh, I'd have enough bone meal to run that micro farm for all the all the potatoes I could possibly want. having villager powered farms again we're just having farms again what are you talking about you had the opportunity to make farms mm. you didn't have you didn't Ouch. have the opportunity to Time. go Arcadius could you Grab enough? I thought I grabbed enough. Yeah, that should be enough. It will be kind of nice to be on a. I, I enjoyed the Skyblock experience, but it will be nice to be on a vanilla server again. Although I will have to make sure that I go on the hunt for giant pads of hoppers. <laughs> I'm also curious how our uh, storage situation is going to be, and if I need, if I'm not going to have to bump us up to the next tier up because of storage concerns alone. You're curious and you don't know the answer to that question? Uh, no, I don't know the answer to that question. I know what I hope the answer is, but, uh, I think I know what the answer is actually going to be. So I just put in two stacks of two stacks of potatoes and two stacks of fish. I got four more stacks of potatoes. 
and more growing. I'm pretty sure I got four more stacks of fish in here. One, two, three, four. Let's get those going, and then we'll see how many uh, how many records I can get out of uh, just turning in a bunch of fish and chips. I'm curious if I can get the Maestro challenge just out of. Uh, can I get that by just turning in fish and chips? Uh, oh, I don't have enough yet. Hmm. Is that a is that a new one? Thirteen, thirteen. No, nope. uh, that's a duplicate. curious which ones am I missing figure out a better way to work this. <laughs> Music disc 13 and cat. I've got cat and 13. I need blocks and chirp. I got blocks and chirp. I need far and mall. Uh, I got mall and far. Far and mall. Malohai and stall. There's two of the ones I'm missing. So I'm just short four four discs. Oh, wait. Hey. Where's my disc? Oh, it's... Oh. 30% chance for a disc. <laughs> Roll that D20. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you.
Yeah, they're all... Oh, they're all down to 30% chance for a disc. That's sad. Especially because we know how well I deal with percentile rolls. <laughs> <laughs> well, any rolls, really, but I mean... Ah, uh, there's rumor. <sighs> well, on that frustrating note, I hope you had fun. Uh, thank you for sticking around as long as... as, <laughs> as long as you have. Um... Friday, I will be doing a stream. It might be another guitar repair. It might not. I might also be doing one in the middle of the week somewhere. Because um, <clears throat> I got projects that I really need to get cracking on. And uh, I, I got the extension cables to try to reconfigure this and hope that this works this time. So we'll, you know, we'll see. Um... But Tuesdays, Fridays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, I stream. Tuesdays is almost always Coffee Craft. Fridays is in limbo until I can get my life squared away again. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Have fun. Enjoy. Uh, I think we few, we happy few, will... Oh. There's nobody on that I want to read. Okay. I guess we'll call it a night. Have fun. <laughs>